Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to another episode of Intuitive Creator Spotlight. Today, I have a guest, a beautiful guest, Catherine here. She is a master at capturing the essence of personality photography. She is here to share with us parts of her personal story and, and also insights from her work and experience. And I cannot wait to introduce you to Catherine today. Hi, Catherine. Welcome to our show. It's so great to have you here. Stella, thank you. What an introduction. Wow. That's, uh, that's really kind. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for the time today. I'm very much looking forward to talking to you about my, a little bit about my life, a little bit about where my creativity is now and maybe where it might be going. I don't know. <laughs> yes, for sure. That all of it is really exciting because, yes, we have the experiences from the past. We have the direction that we're going towards and the present moment. But really, everything is right here with us because we carry that with us, the experience and then where we're going towards. So I know that you work a lot, Catherine, with the concept of personality photography how would you explain that to someone who just comes into your world what does that mean okay so when you look around at images as we walk about in our day and we go down the shopping aisles and we see all these lovely photos and it looks hugely amazing photography there's there are many amazing photographers out there <laughs> so <clears throat> what what we're seeing I, I ask you to look really, to look at those photos and see what you're seeing, because quite often these lovely models, beautiful as they are, are standing there and we have this kind of very plain looking faces. Or um, and, and even when you're scrolling through your social media, you'll start looking and you'll see like, people have had a very nice headshot taken. You know, they've probably got a nice little backdrop that's been popped up and they've stood there very nicely and they've done with the right thing and they've even smiled, you know, but there's a, can be this really quite cold look to a lot of people's photography and to lots of people's photos which is intentional probably from these people but for me I really love when I see the person who is behind the photo so it's not about just doing a nice smile it's about actually having a lovely thought in your head you know quite a so like literally I'll spend like a shoot saying to people like, let's think about this okay give me your you're excited yeah, where is excited what's excited what does that mean to you what does um being happy what's the happiest thought you've had today what's the and we have these weird sort of conversations um throughout the whole shoot mm -hmm. um, and faces honestly our micro expressions are just so valuable Stella because these little micro expressions are the real us they're the real person the real personality and why why should we have this personality um shining why do we do that especially for small businesses for um for content you know like here we are online if if you want to be online and you want to have your personality showing then people will connect with you so much better than if they're just seeing a lovely smiley photo lovely smiley photo great but have that personality in your content have this oodles of lovely photos to use especially we need we need a lot these days we need to be producing um a, a vast amount of content <laughs> yeah a lot of content throughout through our days so to have stuff at hand so that you can portray the message, not just with your lovely words or co um, copy that you're writing, but to have that photo that goes, okay, that shows me, th that's a thinking photo. That's me really thinking. That's me really being calm in my photo. You know, it's not just about, <clears throat> it's not just about jazz hands. I do love a bit of jazz hands, but, um, but it's not just about having really quirky, really exciting photos. It's also about having those, that personality of calm or the personal thought of um encouragement you know what's what's encouragement how's encouragement come across in a face seriously Stella you can capture that it's absolutely doable so that's that for me is what personality photography is about Mm. And that's how you capture people's unique essence as well, because you're just encouraging them to be who they are and share that smile, a smile that's natural to them and not a forced one. 
So when you see these things, when you see that people go from, oh my God, I don't know like how am I going to do this photo shoot to then when you go through all the photos and see those amazing expressions, what what message do you tell yourself as the person who created that? When I see these expressions, I, I am looking, well, for me, it's that's a delight. I have to say, I go home and I'm sitting there to do my proofing on my Big Mac here. And, I, and I, I'm looking through those photos. I'm reliving our conversations for starters. I'm reliving the conversations and I'm thinking, that's going to be great. These are great photos for, for, for this person's content. It suits them as a coach, as a fitness instructor, as a, a book editor, as a, as a witch, you know, all these, these different types of um, clients that I might have. They suit this, I can imagine how they are going to start being able to use those in, in, their, um, in their content and it's on their websites and in their blogs and you know, beyond that in their marketing material. So it's, I just feel that they've had a, they've had a good time they've had fun <laughs> fun is like a massive thing to me Stella fun is well we perhaps we'll touch again on that in a minute but yeah fun is a massive thing to me so people have gone away from their photo shoot they've had a fun time and they've got going to be getting these photo proofs and they're going to be able to choose which they like to be able to use in um use and have edited um and then then they have lots and lots and lots to use for, for their content that's amazing. It's amazing because it's a collaboration and co-creation between you and your client. And that is always really, really magical. Um, so apart from, you know, uh, having this toolbox with lots of questions that you come forward and ask your clients during the photo shoot, and of course, all your equipment that you're working with, how else do you prepare for that photo shoot um, before you see your client? Is there a practice that you do, a routine, anything at all that you do to prepare yourself? This, this, that's such a good question, Stella. Um, okay, so the, for the client, I, do, I, I think everything I do is sort of individualized because everybody needs a different level of preparation everybody um, has come with a different set of experiences some people have had photo shoots before some people haven't had photo shoots before um some people are, are familiar with my content and know what they're going to get and are happy to go Catherine can you just do the thing and I'll, I'll turn up and I'm like yeah okay um, but more often than not I'll, I'll have like a whatsapp with people I'll have video meetings with people and um, I'll have good conversations I'll get to really know their brand in and out because that's not not just their brand more than their brand it's more about them as well especially with um personal brands um so when you are when you're trying to run your business and you want to attract clients let's say you know having a think about who you want to actually attract is the like really really important and really important thing so if you are wanting to attract people with let's say high energy or with calm energy then if you go out your photos and you have this high energy or you've got your photos with this very calm energy you are likely to bring that personality and then that's what will be the attraction for those people so people with calm energy are not necessarily going to look at people with like high energy photos and go okay I want to I want to work with that person they might they might they might be attracted by something that they would like to, to know about but then you know we're looking to sort of match the energies of the client and then what the client will potentially want to who they want to work with so so there's a good conversation around that it's good conversations around locations and good good um good conversations about outfits and possible props and things like that um and we'll do all the research and then we and then we'll meet up and that's and that's that's how the preparation for a photo shoot goes in terms of the client I, I think like a little bit of what you're asking was what do I do like myself it's a that's very good because actually actually I'm gonna I dare I admit this but I can get quite nervous about a shoot because I want it to be like as brilliant as, as I want it to be <laughs> I want it to be brilliant <laughs> so <clears throat> so you know I, I I will get nervous um but I know and I've, I've had the same experience with running races as soon as you cross that start line all those nerves start like to drop away they just drop away they just go and you just have a really good time you just enjoy yourself yeah. <laughs> and I get in this really weird flow and I'm taking the actual photos on the shoot I get in this weird like I go sort of silent and I'm just like like watching and 
taking these photos. It's like, I don't know. I just, I'm there. Sometimes I'll even say to people, if I go silent, it's not because I'm not wanting to talk to you or something. It's just because I'm enjoying something yeah. for a moment. And I'm just, I'm just taking a flow of photos. So, mm. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's that, and I think, I think a lot of probably artists and stuff will, um, appreciate that kind of creative flow that when you get in that place in that zone of doing the thing that you love doing it just happens so oh no those nerves will go away so yeah, yeah. so what you're doing you're <laughs> alchemizing that nervousness you're transforming it into productive energy and and you you're shifting it into something that really helps you and not only that it helps you but it just step it makes you step into that zone of like hmm, I take a deep breath now and, and I enjoy working with it and I've seen some of the photos that you've done and they're absolutely amazing because I can totally tell how you created that one-to-one -one connection with those people and that is so so beautiful and it is a gift it's a gift not only to them to your clients but also to everyone who's coming in contact with them because you're you're helping them um, express their true selves and how beautiful is that um, so you know with this um, Catherine can you remember maybe a challenging moment in your career and you know that it was challenging for a reason because you've learned something important from that moment and if so, how did that influence your work after that, afterwards? Can I say thank you for that compliment? I'm, I'm totally blushing on now. <laughs> but, but, okay, so challenging. Now, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a change on this and what I'm going to say. So my these last few years have, I would say beyond the last few years, a long time in my life. There have been a lot of stress, a lot of strains, just as everyone has everybody all have stresses and strains doesn't always have to be um really major some things are major but you know we, we I, I don't know some people I, I've got a, a feeling that there will be people in business who think well do you know what I'm just having a bit of difficulty with I don't know my fridge freezer something's gone wrong this is it in the grand scheme of things you know that's not really major and not stressful but if it's stressful for you it's stressful for you if it's having an impact on you and your energy and your time, it has a really big impact on what you can create and what you can do and what um, and where you put your energy and how you use it. So for me, I'll, I'll just give you a whistle stop tour of some of the things that have happened over these last few years. So I had a divorce that was going back eight, nine years ago now. Um, I, out of choice, my choice, I, I, I was pursuing a life where I thought I was going to be or am going to be happier and am happier and um, I knew there was more to, to what I had so I knew that's what I wanted following that divorce I had some estrangement from some of my family members who chose not to talk to me which actually broke my heart um, and still continues to this day to break my heart and have an impact on my energy um I've had challenging teenagers, like I now have stepchildren who are now newly challenging to my life. Um, <laughs> different reasons. We've had an autism diagnosis in the middle of that, which has been incredibly stressful. And anyone who knows dealing with schools, how horrible that can be. So that's that, that's been pretty horrible. We had um, my father-in-law um, had a brain tumour and we had from start to finish with the brain tumour, a 12 week period where he'd been diagnosed. To, to passing which was really very very sad and very traumatic for everybody um we've had covid I didn't even put that on my list of things <laughs> like, that, like we've had COVID <laughs> as well they're like covid going on and the, and the type the way the business had to change at that point um and and also most recently like a couple of years ago my um, husband was diagnosed with cancer and still today has cancer although he's doing very very well so I'm going to sort of end that sort of that's been the challenges these are difficult things and you know I'm not saying that everyone is having these big levels of things it might be your fridge freezer it might it might be your dog is poorly you know we've had we've got so many little things like so many things whatever but I, I know my experience tells me that my energy and my ability to run my business through these times has been like that 
<laughs> no word of a lie. It's, it's been incredibly difficult um, and continues to be incredibly difficult. So to the point where I feel like I lost my creativity. In fact, I, like I really, I like I, although I was producing photos and connecting well with my clients my, my my time with my clients during like this these difficult times that's that's been like my holiday it's really weird it's my it's my work but it's like my holiday to go and do a photo shoot and to spend time where I can do something fun and smile and laugh and it's been they have been like 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 magical moments for me you know they really have like so the, this I'm grateful to my clients for being there and like being with me, <laughs> trusting me to do mm -hmm. what I've, I've, I've done with them. So, um, so, so yeah, so for me, so, so that energy time, that's, that's, a, that's finding that energy from something that you love doing. You know, again, we were talking earlier a little bit about, you know, that you do something, you love doing it. It makes it so much easier to keep doing it and wanting to do it and want to do it more. Um, and sometimes you have to do things you don't like doing to, realize I don't like doing that but you have to have committed and tried it for a while <laughs> we had that conversation too didn't we you know two weeks of a diet doesn't work you have to do it for a bit longer to make you know, to make the decision of whether it really works for you or not um so anyway energies and working with these clients and now coming back to now where I am now where I can recognize that I won't have, let's say, let's say I choose where I put my energy now better. So client time, client work, 100%, like 100%, 110% even, you know, I love it. I just, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. That's where I, I'm happy. That's my happy place. My marketing, on the other hand, posting on Instagram, although I love it, I don't, I know that's the thing that has to give. So if my energy is low, that's the thing that has to give that's the thing that I can't do and it's okay to not do that it's okay to go right where can I put my energy and where can I make it work better you know what's it going to be useful what's going to be useful for the world what's going to be useful for me what's going to feed me through the difficult times so you know and I think what I have really learned is that you have to trust that time will evolve the situations so what's painful may remain painful, but time does evolve it. Yeah. Yeah, it might disappear, it might disappear, disappear, dissipate, whatever, but it might remain painful. And there are things in my life that remain painful. But I don't know, I just I just have this trust. I have a trust that time is evolving. I also have a trust in my future self to look back and say, okay, that person, she did it. She she was okay. It was hard, but she did it. I, you know, I trust that my future self will understand what's difficult right now, you know? So, mm -hmm. and then I trust also that my creativity that I feel I've lost a bit of will come back. So mm -hmm. where I can do my lovely client work and it fits into this sort of genre of lovely personality photography, I still feel like there's something in me, Stella, there's still more to come. You know, oh, yeah. when I when I learned to do my photography originally, I was like really trying to be creative with what I was doing. You know, I was using lighting, I was using doing you know all sorts of like stuff, and I want to do more of that stuff again, and I will. So watch this space, people. I'm like, you know, I have <laughs> I have creativity. It's in there. It's coming back. Yes. Um, I'm forgiving myself for not having it right this minute. So mm. you know, for it not being there, right? It's not. I'm not a finished article, and that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. And everything that you shared here with us, your part of your story, um, is is a testament to the fact that yes, we are here to also live through this human existence, through this human experience. And like you were saying that you just want to be there with your clients and that is like a holiday for you. That is your spirit expressing the creativity in that moment. But then you also have to come back to the human life and human existence. And I have been through situations where my family needed me there 100 percent. And then you have to, in that process, take care of yourself as well. Not to forget that and to just give yourself the enough sleep and good food and time so to hard. reflect. <laughs> and you have to somehow balance everything. But 
it's like you go through waves, then the personal life will be a little bit better and then you can give more focus to, to the uh, creativity part or the business part. But everything that you shared here is a, a reality of every everything that is happening in this life. Um, and it's not like, it's not rainbows and unicorns all the time. Uh, but what is the most important is to, remember that spark that you have within and, that, and that's so beautiful and it's clear that you love what you do and you stay there for your clients and of course we've been through COVID as well and with that I know that you you offer to people services like professional photo shoots in-person photo shoots but also virtual shoots so would you like to tell us a little bit uh, about the difference between the two and like if say for example someone who's watching this video they're thinking mm, I've heard something about virtual photo shoots but I have no idea if I should even like look at both or consider one of those what would you be what would you say is the biggest difference between both oh the biggest well the biggest difference between both is that I'm for one of them I'm in the room with you and for one of them I'm on the screen with you <laughs> so that's that's the biggest difference um okay so how do they work how do they work and why would you choose one or the other would be a, would be a good question um i would say like in person you have all that kind of that extra prep before that kind of real like de in depth we're really trying to find the personality this is how this is uh, you know and there's lots of time you know, time spent in different locations and spaces and um time to rest between the photos and just kind of changing outfits a lot easier it's a lot, it's, 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 it's a lot easier in a sense to do it in person shoot but sometimes we need to be a bit quicker because we need to batch up a whole ton of content and we don't need it to be really like website perfect they can be used on websites but people you know people want a lot of photos and um, it's very fashionable right now to have like the pointy photos or the yeah, again more expression type photos and then you have to cut them out and that sort of photo um, or even just to have them where you're sitting on like people do them on their sofa I have one this afternoon in fact and we're going to shoot a virtual shoot this afternoon which is great I don't have to go out of my house I can stay in my my soft trousers and um, and take photos um so yeah, basically, I like it, it works through an app on on your phone. So you have the app, and I have the app on my end, um, here on my desktop, and I direct that person to sit into different poses, to use different expressions. It's quite the conversation is still quite similar to how I would be in person. Um, we will have probably a slightly less choice of what we're going to do in terms of location. So because people tend to do them at home, they could be done in an office or something, but tend to do them at home. So you might have one or two spaces that you feel happiest or you know, with it, like either a plain wall or if you have a nice sofa or a chair in a conservatory or you have the, this, you choose your one or two spaces that you feel confident you can work with. I'll have probably had a WhatsApp with you as well. So you'd have shown me what those photos are um the areas are so I've got in my head like a bit of an idea of how I want you to sit or stand um and then with a tripod or your phone on the tripod and me directing you I can click away and take those photos and then they upload I'd sort them through and send them over so you have this almost instant batch of photos as opposed to the slightly longer version of preparation proofing time editing time and everything else that goes with a, a an in-person shoot so mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a fun and a different way it helps people who don't necessarily want to be out of the house who are perhaps don't have the time to be out of the house um it's a little it's a little bit better in terms of cost if, you, if that's an issue so it, you, know, you don't have that extra costs involved and um travel you don't have to travel you just it's there's this that yeah it, it's still fun we still can involve props we can still involve the jazz hands we can still it's all, it's still you know it's still about personality um mm. but it's a little bit more about the, the batching of the content so that you've got that those photos that you can go away and use um straight away really Mm -hmm. And for someone who probably wants to create something almost overnight, I mean, from maybe from one week to another, and they need 
the, a few photos, new photos. It's a great idea, isn't it? And like, the, I think the with the help of the AI, having these kind of apps and everything, it just helps us so much in uh, this day and age. And, and I'm, I am grateful for everything that technology is bringing into our lives as well. So, you know, Catherine, for everyone who's watching us, um, if they're watching this video and they're like, hmm, actually, I really uh, feel like visual can be an important aspect of my business. What advice would you give to those who aim to create a strong visual impact from now on? Oh, that's, oh, Stella, you have really great um, <laughs> questions. Um, okay, so, so my, my big advice would be to have your face on your content I love um, that. I love there, that. you know it, 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 whether you don't you hear it doesn't need to be me as your photographer which whatever you do if like if I can give some, everyone an action right now today if you haven't got your face on your content please make contact with two or three photographers and have conversations and see who might work you might be able to work with because you need if you if you aren't putting your face out there you're missing a trick psychologically like the science tells us that when we're scrolling or looking at um content or we're looking um at websites if we aren't seeing a face we're spending less time there that that literally is a fact um and a face will stop us even if it's just for those milliseconds more and it and it makes you more memorable especially if you've managed to put your personality in there because it gives you that connection that the person who wants to work with you, you know, they're seeing you and they're like, they get a little bit of you and they, it, it stops that barrier of who is, who, I don't know, it just gives you that more, that better connection. So, um, so yeah, put your face on your content. That's my mm. big visual making an impact. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that I love that so much because even like when you go on social media and if you receive it, if I receive a friend request from someone and on the profile photo, there is no, it, there isn't a face or just like a something. There is nothing wrong with that, of course, but it makes me like, hmm, do I want to connect, you know, with this profile or because it, it makes you just ask yourself. It's not that you don't want to connect with that person in reality if you know who that person is it's just that it just makes you question a little bit more doesn't it it does and that literally in that that momentary second of questioning it's it's like you know for buying and selling signals you know you're, you that slight doubt is is becomes an obstacle even if it's the millisecond of a doubt it's or, or a question you know you've you've had to put like it's almost like putting an obstacle in people's way mm -hmm. so you know you want to take away those obstacles and to be like utterly as encouraging as I can be even if you don't decide to ever have a, prof a professional photo shoot even if you don't even go the virtual photo shoot um, route you know please just use some selfies use some selfies and um, have some you know use real in the moment photos if you're going out having a walk with someone you know get them to take a photo of you while they're having a walk you know, whatever it is you're doing put that put that into your social media you know where you have a conversation with people use your photos to have conversations you know okay oh yeah I went for a walk today this is what I did and this is what I learned this is what I was thinking about or you know have you ever thought about or do you what do you like to do all those questions just from one simple photo yeah. um and and having your face there so please mm. please put your faces use your photos use whatever photos it is of you um even this week like on my own content I've I've shared like a, a, a terrible a terrible selfie of myself um in the rain and with a raincoat on and um and it was like it was the only one I could find at the time I was like, okay I'm just putting that on there it's just going it's just going on so uh, so you know don't be afraid just don't be afraid even professional photographers use funny old photos at times it's okay yeah and especially that we live uh through times where even when we would go and buy like a physical product as well, we want to know who is behind this brand, behind this company, who's the creator, right? Of the, yeah, absolutely. Yes, it's, it's important for us. We no longer buy based on like, oh, this is what this product is about. And that's the color. That's the shape. It's no, that is no longer enough. We want to know who stands behind this product. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think of like, um, let's see, 
I'm going to, okay, I'm going to say, say like the Harry Potter brand, you've got JK Rowling is behind, she's behind that, she's a person, a human being. I wonder if it would have that same appeal if we didn't have her and her story behind that. You know, oh, Richard Branson, we've got the Virgin, obviously, Steve Jobs. And um, I'm not going to talk about other men. I like to talk about like some women. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's Charlotte Tilbury, you know, we've got all these lovely women behind a brand with their name on their brand, you know, even to, to some point. So, like, you know, have your face, have have your, have be the person and don't be afraid to be that person. Mm-hmm. And then don't just hide behind a logo, but be, be the real, you know, you know, do video, do, do photos, have, have that connection. Don't be afraid to have that connection mm-hmm. um, with, with your, with your potential audience. You know, I say, I, would, I don't want to say that everyone's going to be a client. They're not going to, that's just not true. Um, but you know, if you want to make connections and you want to be memorable and perhaps people are just following you for whatever they're following you for, you know, they might not buy from you, but they will certainly have you in mind if somebody else mentions something. You think, they think oh, I know. Yeah. Like, Stella's really great for this. Like, I don't need to contact Stella. You know, just be that memorable person and you're not memorable if you're not sharing your face in some mm-hmm. way. Yeah, that's such a brilliant advice, Catherine. I so, so appreciate that. And um, before we end this video, I know that this year you are starting the year because to everyone who's watching, we're recording this at the beginning of 2024. I know that you are ready to share so much of your beautiful magic and although I'm sure you want to keep a lot of it as a secret for the right moment, is there anything at all that you could share with us in terms of what is it that you're planning to bring into the world this year? Okay, okay. So this well, this this year into the world, I will bring. Um, I'm going to bring lots more um, encouraging comments and creativity for you to be able to share your content and encourage your face to be shown and um, I will be encouraging more selfies I will be encouraging people to to explore the idea of a virtual shoot I'll be encouraging people to get out of the house maybe have a have a go of, you know with a professional photographer somewhere um, and just yeah if you are going to follow my content which I hope that there will be a few people coming over to my Instagram and saying hi yeah just say hi just say hello Hello, I saw you on Stella's uh, Stella's podcast on YouTube. Please come and say hello. And um, just if you end up following me, you will see that I will just give you as much encouragement, and I will share some tips. I'll share, you know, what to do to prep for a, a virtual shoot, what to do for uh, your own personal shoot, what will what to do with your selfie content, how to use it. I'm going to show you some examples of how how other clients have already. Um, use their, their things in their content so you will be their photos so you will be able to to have some ideas and you'll be able to gather up like oh yeah that's how you could do it oh yeah I know I could do that that's something possible for me too so yeah I really want to encourage more of this face sharing more of the how to use your photos in your content Big thank you to you, Catherine. It's been such a beautiful uh, conversation with you here today. I am really thankful, really grateful for everything that you shared with us. To everyone who's watching us, I, we will drop all the links in the description of this video so that you could go and connect with Catherine on her website and Instagram and all the other places where she's going to share inspiring content. And to everyone again who has been here with us for this interview and every other video that you'll find on this channel. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified every time we post amazing content. Thanks again, Catherine, for being here with me today and bye-bye to everyone. Bye. Thank you, Stella.